This is a 9.8, 9.8 US blanks. And I'm going to do a 9.6 today. It's going to end up similar outline to this right here. This is a board I did for the SoCal Woody Club. And the show coming up in uh, on the 24th of this month down at Dana Point in the day parking. So off to the shaping room. Okay, this is gonna be a 9-6 board for uh, performance, kind of a nose rider. I'm gonna skin the blank, take it down to the thickness. This blank, I believe, comes in about three and three eighths, and I'm gonna bring it down to probably three and a quarter, and just skim the, the deck in the bottom before I go into the next step. Six. 
I always like to go quarter inch over just for by the time you sand the stringer and all that down. And most guys measure at 12 inches down and 12 inches up from the tail. And this particular board I'm going to measure at a uh, So I'm going to probably measure this one right in the middle. Okay. This is a great tool right here because it has a center point zero. And it goes out to 12 inches on either side. Makes it a lot easier. So, all right, this is a. Uh, we're gonna measure this one at 18 and a quarter inches wide. So, nine and nine and is 18, and so and an eighth inch is a, on each side. Wow. All right. That'd be 23 and a half wide. So I want to get the center point on the stringer with my ruler. And 22, 23 and a half. So we're going to go to 23 and a quarter on each side which makes 23 and a half. This is for a bigger guy, so I'm going to go a little wider in the tail. It's going to be about 15. This guy weighs about 210 pounds. If it was a performance board for a kid or a guy in the 150 to 180 range, I would make it probably two from two and a half to two and three quarters, depending on the individual, all the way down to two and a, a quarter sometimes. So this one is going to be 15, 15 and a quarter, because this is for a big guy. And I like to square off the tail. It gives me a, a really good reference point for uh, just keeping everything square and this one I'm gonna make six let's see six and three quarters wide it's gonna be a squash tail kind of a rounded squash so there you go now we get the template next here's a classic little sign use your own templates not that it matters really to me as long as they don't get damaged. So we're going to do a uh, kind of a rounded nose. So I'm picking out the template that I want to use on this one. And this is the one we're going to use. It's got a nice curve to it. So we're going to draw our template. Alright. So now we're going to connect the dots from the center point to the nose and uh, just line them up and draw the outline. Alright, I'm just finishing up drawing the outline on the tail and uh, now I'm going to cut this thing out. This is my uh, trusty saw. This is only the second one I've had. It's called a sharp tooth and uh, this is what we're going to use to cut out this blank. So first thing I'm going to do is cut the nose Yeah. 
So now I'm going to uh, line up on this line here, which is our template. Now I'm going to cut it pretty close, you know, within the sixteenth or so. I used to cut them like this, but then I saw the infamous Ben Ipa cutting them straight up and down, so I decided to start doing it. It made more sense to me and it felt more comfortable. So. step as clean as you can it's that much less work for the next step so we're almost done with this one side here. shaping under the guidance of Steve Bainey I learned how to cut the blanks straight like this and then then I went into cutting them straight down like this because I saw Ben Ipa one day cutting them out like that and I tried it so to save my arm I started using my left hand as well to you know keep it even and uh, use use both hands so I don't uh, wear out my right hand from holding the planer all the time. So I'm going to cut it out the same side as I did over here with my right hand. I'm going to use my left hand. And you know, like anything, it takes practice. But it sure helps to save your arm. the blade straight up and down just a little angle and just get it get it flowing and that's just past center so I'm gonna break that off and we're almost done centered on the stands so you don't cut into the uh, the stands. 